The reason I go to adoration is because it's time for me to spend with God and God to spend with me. It's like being in love. I just sit there, I look at him, he looks at me. And it's hard for me not to want to be in the face, looking at the face of the person I'm in love with. I think everyone understands that. If you've ever been in love, you'll love adoration. When you're in love with someone, you want to spend a lot of time with them. And adoration is like that. God is just so in love with you. He invites you to come spend time with Him. And when you do, you feel that love, and it's indescribable. In adoration, we have the, the opportunity to adore the true presence of Christ in the Eucharist. And it is in the Eucharist that we uh, find our home. Adoration's been so important in various times of my life. It's just been a real great uh, time for me to just be able to be in Christ's presence and worship Him and be able to um, just be in quiet, be in peace, and really be able to listen to Him. That's a meeting place of God. That's you and God right there, right in that room. You are all unified as one body through the Eucharist. In adoration, the priest will put the Eucharist, the consecrated Eucharist, body and blood, soul and divinity of Jesus Christ, in a monstrance, and the monstrance comes from the word monstrare, which means to expose. So in the monstrance, we have the chance to have Christ's true presence exposed to us so that we have the opportunity to worship Him and be with Him. And it makes sense because in the beginning, God created us to be in fellowship with Him. And so, as St. Augustine uh, once said, um, you have created us, O God, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. And so it makes sense for us to be, you know, uh, without peace in our lives until we go into the presence of Christ in the Eucharist, until we are face to face in fellowship with Christ as we were created to be. So it is a great opportunity for us to go. Uh, Christ, Christ gives us blessing and healing, among other things. Adoration is extremely important in my life. Um, I try to go as often as I can because my work is very stressful and adoration is the only time that I can be completely at peace and know that um, even when, I, when I'm stressing at work that um, you know someone suffered much more and, and he's there, body, blood, soul, and divinity in the Eucharist and I go to adoration to visit and, and find consolation. I try to spend an hour every day in front of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament as my personal prayer time. And every day I'm bringing to Him my issues, but also I bring to Him my issues and He gives me answer to those issues, but also to things that I don't even see that are way on my peripheral. So more than even the things that I'm concerned about, He brings to mind things that I need to be concerned about. I would really suggest spending that time with Christ um, in the Eucharist and just really uh, valuing um, the time to of silence, but also being willing to listen uh, to what He has to say, and sometimes that just means um, letting Him pour out His love. Bishop Fulton Sheen once said, one of my favorite uh, heroes of my life, uh, the greatest love story of all time is contained in a tiny white host. There comes a time in people's lives when they realize that there's something missing, something um, they need like a sense of purpose in their life. And they realize that, that that thing that's missing is really God. 